because we're big fans of John Green and we love his books. Hashtag Paper Towns! John Green's my idol. Yeah, <laughs> to be a writer. I'm so excited. I love this book. I'm excited for the film. Like, I can't wait. I've been here since like 10 a.m. Hello, Leicester Square. Hello, everyone. Okay. Formal introductions time. Yeah. I am Dan Howell. And I am Phil Lester. He won number one best selling author and wrote a little book called Fault in Our Stars. We are, of course, talking about John, John Green! Green. I need to borrow your car. What? I have nine things I need to do tonight, and more than half of them require a getaway driver. The, the cast of this movie really, uh, they love each other, like not just while they were making it, but they still do. Uh... The main man of Paper Towns, yeah. we'll talk about him for a sec, is of course played by Nat Wolf. John, why did you feel when you saw him on set in The Fault in Our Stars, apparently, that he yeah. was the right guy for Quentin? I mean, I think there's so many, I just think Nat Wolf is a wildly talented actor and there's so many reasons why he was the perfect Quentin, but I almost mm -hmm. feel like that would be a better question for Nat Wolf to answer. <laughs> Yeah, I dressed up for you, John. You look so British. What the? We're ninjas. I feel my heart beating in my chest. That is the way you should feel your whole life. What made you want to get involved in another John Green project after The Fallen Our Stars? So I was on set in The Fallen Our Stars, and uh, somebody came up to me and said, you should really read uh, Paper Towns. I'd already read Looking for Alaska and Fault. And I read Paper Towns, and it was my favorite by far of John's books. By far? <laughs> <laughs> the rest were so Whoa. lame. Are you implying no. that there's like a oh, huge yeah. quality I, gap? I just really... it's your favorite. You don't have to say by how much. Yeah. By such a huge margin, <laughs> it was my favorite. If I don't find Margot, it's all for nothing. Hey. So, I mean, we've had a lot from you two. I mean, sorry about the surprise we're bringing that up. But, well, you know, the one person isn't here is the leading lady. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> I'm seeing actual tears in your eyes. Like, do you see any of Margot's character in yourself? She taught me a lot of things, I mm -hmm. think, now about being fearless. And uh, I think everyone as kids is pretty fearless. I mean, it's kind of yeah. about getting back to that and not really giving a shiitake mushroom about what anyone else thinks, <laughs> nice. I guess. Mm -hmm. You have to get lost before you find yourself. We have a responsibility to, to try, to listen to each other, to try to understand what it's like to be uh, someone else. And I, I think that they did a great job of capturing that in, in the movie. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Two, one.